One of the simple ways in which we see the blending of productivity tools and business processes of Dynamics 365 Business Centrals through Microsoft Outlook. In this demonstration, we'll show you a quote to cash, also known as email to money, in which I get an inbound email request from a customer. And I'm going to process that in its entirety, this entire business process through Microsoft Outlook. So the steps here are we're going to enter in a sales quote. We'll send it via email. I'll convert that quote once it's been approved by the customer. I'll convert that to an invoice. We'll then post the invoice and convert to cash. Now, again, keep in mind this entire business process, uh, very common for most organizations, is being managed entirely through the integration between Business Central and Microsoft Outlook. Let's begin by entering a sales quote. So imagine the scenario. You receive a request for a quote from one of your existing customers. Now, that customer wants some pricing information for two items, happens to be a London swivel chair and the Antwerp conference table. And typically in that process, right, for most organizations, you have to minimize outlook. You most likely have to open up some quoting system, whether it's a sales management, customer management solution, or perhaps your accounting system. You gotta go log in, you gotta go find that customer and then begin to enter in the request. With the integration as tightly as it is, as a user, I simply click on the Business Central add-in in, in my ribbon. I'll select Contact Insights, and you can see actually before I create the document, I get a rich set of information. This is a live feed from Business Central into Microsoft Outlook. So you can see up at the top, there's details that I could drill into, such as balance, past due, uh, life to date sales, etc. Or down below, you know, as an example, I might want to uh, just further understand what's happening with the cut with this customer. I could drill into the tiles and see what we've shipped to the customer in the past. Uh, might be, you know, again, important for me to review that history. So again, I can see all of that information at a single click without having to request it from someone else in the organization. Now, of course, the inquiry was to create a new sales quote. So I'll select on the new sign. Because it's a customer, I get the sales related activities or tasks. I select on sales quote. Now, one of the things I think is extremely important to point out right here is not only does it recognize, meaning the applications are synchronized in recognizing the customer and the details behind the customer, but Microsoft Outlook is constantly monitoring the body of my email and you, through the use of some intelligence, automa automating intelligence, it recognizes the uh, what's in the body of the email along with what I have in inventory. And so it's helping me with data entry by suggesting the items. I'll select OK. And now you'll notice I've got quote 1003 and the two line items uh, that are added to my uh, sales quote. Now, just to show you what's happening behind the scenes, right? So we've got quote 1003. If I were to minimize Outlook and open up Business Central, you'll see in the live tiles here at the bottom left, I have three sales quotes. And there is that quote 1003. So this is happening simultaneously as I'm entering in data in Outlook. It is being replicated or brought in to Business Central. So here you see that, that quote. The next step, in the process, let me go ahead and get approval from the customer, so we'll send that via email. So I'm back in Microsoft Outlook. Over in the top right corner, we have these three ellipses, and I'm going to go ahead and send this via email. Now, of course, I want to make sure to review the quote just to make sure of any accuracies or inaccuracies. So I can open that up, and as you can see here, this is nothing more than a, a document that we could certainly edit in Word. Uh, but I have the attachment, and this looks exactly like what we need to send. Uh, now the customer calls me and they uh, approve it or they send me a response via email. So the next step is to convert this sales quote 1003 to an invoice. So again, up in the top right corner, you'll notice here I can either convert this to a sales order or in this case here, our process is to go from quote directly to an invoice. So I'll go ahead and make that an invoice. Uh, I get a prompt just to confirm. And now you'll see the change uh, in document number. So it went from a uh, quote to a sales invoice ending in 2222. We'll minimize Outlook. And notice now I have uh, one fewer quotes, as well as I've incremented or increased my sales invoices from 7 to 8. 
and there is the sales invoice that we created again all within Microsoft Outlook. The next step is just to post the invoice so again all within Outlook I'll select the ellipsis and from this document we'll go ahead and hit post and now notice the customer has a balance on their account and uh, we've converted that from a quote to an invoice to a posted invoice and then I'll convert this to cash so this becomes more of the accounting process uh, once we receive cash from the customer to pay for that uh, so this is located under cash management I'll open up the cash receipts journal and you'll notice here I've got a document type as a payment from this customer a datum I'll enter in the amount and once I do that was the check we received I'll go ahead and uh, uh, apply it to the invoice uh, you'll see here there's the invoice so I've got alignment to that and I'll preview the posting everything looks good as to where it's going into which accounts and I'm done so again this is a common process of uh, quote to cash but uh, the benefits really is to help if you think about it uh, ways in which we can improve productivity uh, maybe you've got somebody new in the organization that's just learning the applications perhaps we can give them an environment such as Outlook uh, but again, also be able to quickly respond to those customer requests.